Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jonglo, the owner of a dragon house. Right next to me, we have Arias Aguayo. Yeah. All right, I pronounce good. Uh, Sometimes I don't, sometime I'm okay. But uh, anyway, let's introduce yourself to all the MMA fight fans out there. Uh, who you are, where you born and raised, and then what got you into martial arts? Well, my name is Arias Aguayo. I was born in Santa Cruz, but raised basically mainly in Watsonville. Um, mm -hmm. Move around a lot, so. Went a good amount of time in Santa Cruz, a good amount of time in Washington. Now, anybody um, grow in Washington, uh, uh, Santa Cruz and know how to serve, right? Water yeah, serving? Yeah, I was on one of them. <laughs> you was on one of Almost every person I know, I remember they, you, you used to have um, uh, um, Steve Tendoya. Oh, uh, Tendoya? Yeah, yeah, he fought on my show God, like eight, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. Is he still around? Yeah, we trained with us on Saturdays over there in Watsonville with Seth at a Man, he, therapy. He's 2 0, right? Yeah, as a pro, we're trying to get him back in there. Yeah. That guy's a beast. Why Why he stopped fighting? He just got hurt, especially after that Wamsley fight. He broke his arm. Oh, after that, he yeah. just had to take some time off and just been doing his thing. That's why he fought Wamsley, I believe, it's 2019. Yeah. Five years ago yeah. on the on the Cal Palace card. I think so. Yeah, wow. That's time flies, you know. So um, now, it's awesome to have you making a debut in our promotion. Uh, pretty much, we are the icon MMA promotion in San Francisco Bay Area. Um, now, how long have you been training martial art? <clears throat> I've been training martial arts since I was about 12 years old. So back in the day at IMS with Brian Burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. What, what happened to Brian Burns? He just ended up moving after COVID. COVID kind of hit his business hard. So they had to shut down the gym and after that, I think he just had to move out. It's just cheaper over there, I feel. Does he still have a, a martial arts school or no? I'm not sure. I need to get in contact with him about that. God, sure. talk about Brian, man. You know, it's crazy because I talked to Brian time to time for years on the phone. Yeah. I never met him in person. For real? I believe I have, but I don't remember what his face looked like. But him and I, we always chat and talk, and he's always on, call me up like, hey, we got a couple guys coming up, let's get on your show. I'm like, hey, Brian, like, I have his phone dial on my on my phone, but I never really actually meet him in person. No, yeah. We've been talking for years, you know. Yeah, dude. He's yes, yes. Love so him. now, uh, which gym do you train at right now? Right now, I'm training out of a jiu-jitsu therapy in Watsonville with uh, Raul Quintero and Seth Pringle. That's awesome. Now, Raul was an old friend of mine. Uh, I, I still remember when he was an amateur day in, in the brown belt stage, mm -hmm. and then uh, watching him like draw the whole crowd out there and. He's a he's a he's a he's a celebrity in, in yeah, that yeah. area, <laughs> you know. Yeah, real. Now on this upcoming, let's talk a little bit about, about your last fight. I'm watching you find LFA. It doesn't go your way, but you didn't get hurt, you didn't get any injury. It was an arm bar. Um, how did that fight goes down? And just you know, right away, dude didn't Edmund didn't really want to stand up and trade for a little bit. He just threw a one-two. After that, he was <laughs> it. I understand why. If you've seen any of my fights, because you're a striker, striker. you're yeah, a banger. Yeah, I like to I like to stand up and strike. But... Yes, yes. Now on this upcoming fight, you're finding a guy have a very similar record, uh, very similar background. Uh, uh, Drew Davis, you know, have you watching some of these fights? Oh, uh, I've seen just his most recent fight, I think. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any of the other ones before that that much. So what do you think of him? He's long and rangy. Mm -hmm. Long and rangy, has a good pace for himself. Now, how did this fight, how do, how do you plan out for this fight as far as like training camp? How do you prepare for Drew? Just gotta get in tight, hit a lot of cardio, make it a nice little grind. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, he got finished on his last fight, uh, literally like in two minutes. Um, we didn't, we, he didn't really have a chance to showcase his, you know, rush to get back into it. But, I, you know, sometimes when you take that loss, you want to rush back into it, trying to redeem yourself. It's a double end sore. No, yeah, it is. You know, I mean, I feel it. I'm, yeah. I'm the same situation right yeah. now. I'm <laughs> so bad. Yeah, one yeah. One of those has to go. Yes. Be mine. So one of your guys yeah. got to get the first dub, yeah. you know. And um, now how long have you been fighting in general? Fighting, I barely started in 2021, I'm not going to lie, well, it held me back for so long, because I started training at 12, yeah. it's just so scared of needles, and so uh -huh. scared of getting my nose smashed, getting stitches and all this crap, 
first fight in the LFA and all my worst fears all come true. Smash my nose, get nice stitches here, Damn. get some good stitches up here. Damn. After that, I was like, well, two of the biggest fears that happened. So I feel like I'm going to be fine after this one. When when was your first amateur fight? Um, back in November of 2021. And so at wow. 185. At 185? Yeah, 185. I was God damn. Yeah. 185. Wow. Yeah. Now, I know you guys fighting in 155 pound on June 8th. Uh, how much do you walk around weight right now? Walk around weight since I knew I was going to fly. I just try to keep it in average 20, 15 away. 15, 20 pounds away. Yeah. Don't want to get too big for right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just want to struggle, struggle that weight cut, you know. Exactly. And uh, what do you uh, what do you do for work? Right now, I work at my family's restaurant, Carito Estreco, most famous restaurant in Watsonville. No shit. Yeah, we're busy. Where Where's your restaurant located? It's uh, 370 East Lake. Yeah. What type of What type of food you guys serve? It's mainly pork. Pork. Yeah, pork. We make them carnitas. It's, ah. it's, a, it's a pretty big process, but you know, it's so, a little secret with the family recipe. Yeah. So, serve like a burrito? You can have burritos, tacos, tortas, quesadillas, have them by the pound. Have by the pound? Yeah, you can have them by the pound. Well, I'm glad you keep your weight down while yeah, yeah. <laughs> working at the restaurant. You put me at the restaurant, yeah. I, might be, uh, I might be blowing up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, how long has that restaurant been in Washington? Washington? I want to say since my grandpa started it in his house in like 93, 94. Wow. And then from there, he started a restaurant in 95. He opened up his first restaurant. Wow. And then okay. since. So now, are you a mainly a, as a cook or a waitress? Waiter? Cook, cook and prep. Cook and prep. I try to avoid people. I'm a little, yeah. a little shy around people. Well, sometimes you get some, uh, you know, some, some customer and I might not be too friendly and it can be a little uh, irritating, right? Oh uh, yeah, sometimes. But man, thankfully, the ladies I work with are hard women, hard Mexican women that yeah. will not hold their tongue back. So oh. they'll let them out. <laughs> you getting too wild? Hey, get over here. Uh, do their own <laughs> Do you have a brother, sisters? I have a little sister. She's like ten years apart. Is she trained martial art? Nah, she's the total opposite of me. Oh yeah, total opposite. So, how do you um, now as a pro, you know how do you how do you think about yourself like in the future? You know, like do you have anyone that in the regional scene that you want to fight or you want to rematch? Any fighter out there catch your eye that you want to fight? I mean, you always want to get the runbacks with the people that beat you, but I just want to you know build up the record mm -hmm. and get all these regional titles as much as I can. Get the UFC's attention. Get someone's attention. Big organization. Yeah. Now, 155, it's a really popular uh, yeah. weight class. And it's, there's a lot of 155, at least like 125 or like a heavyweight. that not a whole lot of fiber out there. But 145, 55, that's like 35, 45, 55. I would say like the most popular weight class. Uh, there's a lot of people out there like looking to fight, you know. So, but you don't have any 155 or that in your mind you want to fight in the future. Maybe after this one, we get the dude that beat Drew. Yeah. And this last fight, see who's really the better one in it. You know? uh, Anthony Bill. Yeah, he's like from uh, uh, from uh, 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 Vallejo. Okay. Yeah. yeah striker, we'll striker too. Right up your alley. Yeah, we could get it after with him. That's right. Well, Anthony Bill, you're watching this interview. Here we go. We have another person prospect waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, in the August 17th at the Cow Palace card. Uh, in fact, we're going to start working on that fight card. Anybody out there, fighter and managers, want to wanna fight either June, June 8th, we pretty much filled out, or the one August 17th in Cal Palace, make sure you guys DM me, um, me message me on Instagram, you know. Now, uh, if people want to get a hold of you to come buy a ticket watching you fight and come support you, how can people uh, find you? You can find me on Instagram at Adi Sadwayo, uh, MMA. How do you how do you spell it? It's just A R I S A R G U E L L O M M A. Or you can come to the restaurant, get something to eat, and then I'll just take you to the thing. Absolutely. And so one more time, what where where your restaurant address? Three seventy East Lake. Does okay. your restaurant have like an IG too? You don't know. They're old school. Time to <laughs> time to put up a page. I, yeah. I tell you, it's a very important now, like a social media platform. It draws a lot of attention. Yeah. Like the people don't even have to advertising, commercial, all that. Pretty much to social media, and it just 
show people how you make your secret port. Mm -hmm. And I, I guarantee you it's gonna draw some of the local people, hashtag like uh, Watson Fuel neighbors and the Watson Fuel uh, local businesses. Yeah, that's how you can draw a lot of people in, you know, like a friend of mine runs an auto shop in um, San Francisco and uh, the same thing, older Chinese guys that don't believe in social media. I tell them like, look, man, anybody pulled up with a smart check, oil change, do a little clip, put on IG, and then and, um, he start create the IG uh, page. Six months, he say his business probably could go up like a 15, 20 percent. Yeah, no, it's, it's because you know, like if you guys been around for that long, the legendary secret sauce for the port, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta share a little bit with the neighbors. <laughs> Ex spread the words out, you know. Anybody mention the IG page, get five percent discount. <laughs> First dining, yeah, yeah, it's my yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, it's my word. Yes, you know. Now on this upcoming fight, do you have any special loved one, training partner, coaches that you want to shout out to? I want to shout out my wife, always helping me out, everything I need when it comes to our child, my food, meal prepping, getting good sleep. I want to shout out all my coaches at the gym, Raul, Seth. Everyone else there, all my teammates, Larry, Nighthawk, everyone else that all training there with me. I'm not gonna lie, shout out Man Dogs for giving me a helping hand when I need to call them out. Shout out Dark Horse, also the same thing with them. Um, shout out all my boys that always support me every time, all my sponsors. That's awesome. Well, it looks like you have a lot of support for this upcoming fight. Now, if Drew Davis watching this interview, what do you have to say then? You know, come ready and be prepared because I'm here to grind it out. Both of you guys is 0-2. Both of you guys are looking for the first win, first big win. This fight's important for both of you guys, but I think it's a very, very fair, even matchup. Um, let's see who comes out as the better man on that night. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. We are updating the website next week. And uh, this fight card is about 20 fights on the card, 8 professionals and 12 amateurs. Please do not miss it out at Keys Hall Pavilion, June 8th. Door opens at 3 p.m. First amateur fight kicks off at 4 p.m. Pro card kicks off at 6.30 p.m. So uh, do not miss it out. Make sure you guys directly hit up the fighters. Get a ticket from him so they can get a little credit for it. And um, any last word you want to say to anyone out there? I want to say happy birthday. My uncle Cuchillo, today's his birthday. I want to say rest in peace my boy Center and through my boy Biggie. What do you have a little piece of advice for all the young teenagers out there and the troublemakers? What do you have the advice for all those kids? Come to the gym. You want to fight? Come to the gym. You'll fight someone that really knows how to fight. Don't waste your time. Don't get doing time. Come with us. We can help you out. And trust me, if you got good energy that you guys bring, we'll help you guys thrive when it comes to fighting if you guys have it in you. That's awesome, you know. Now, Watson Field, what's your gym? Uh, uh, it's called a Jiu-Jitsu Therapy. Yes. Okay, if you guys in Watson Field, make sure you're making sure you guys check it out. Anybody from Watson Field want to do martial arts, train with the professional fighters, go check out Jiu-Jitsu Therapy, all right? I'm John Lowe signing out, and once again, your name is? Maris Arguello. Yeah, I'm not trying Yeah, from California. I'm not trying to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too long of a day. I'm signing out. See you guys June 8th.